everybody, this is a gaming and gear channel. My name's Doc Valentino. On this channel, sometimes you'll get games, sometimes you'll get gear, sometimes you'll get tutorials on how to do something gaming or streaming related. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a shotgun mic that I bought. I was looking at the Rode video mic, but there were a lot of people saying they were getting a weird feedback and it seemed to be related to their Wi-Fi signal. So I went with another brand because a lot of people were saying, hey, buy this instead of that, whatever. So, so I ended up with a Comica V30 Pro. I did a quick unboxing on it, which will show you a couple of things right here. This is gonna be the audio directly from the camera. So this is the camera's built-in microphone picking this up. Now I wanted to be able to do more videos on the go. So in order to do that, I had to get something like this. Uh, so this is a shotgun mic that will mount to the top of the camera. The camera that I use is a Canon M50 Mark II uh, mirrorless. You're going to hear the audio that's built into the camera first while we're doing this portion of the video. And then whenever we're done with this portion of the video, uh, and after we get this unboxed, we'll go ahead and mount this to the top of the camera and we'll record a little bit of footage using this microphone and we'll go ahead and compare how those sound. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this out. It does come with a couple wind socks. You got your little booklet inside and then the microphone itself, which is, I'm not gonna lie, very, very light. It's almost as light as this. You can see the, the little mount right here. It has a little bit of give to it, but it's also a little bit sturdy, uh, you know, for the size of the microphone. We'll see how it goes. I did see some reviews where people were saying uh, in a lot of heavy wind that it would hit the edges right here. So we'll go ahead and see how that works. This one does take batteries. I think it's three AAA. It takes two AAA batteries. So I'll have to go ahead and get batteries for that. Okay, so now that we have that off, we're gonna go ahead and take this, connect it to the camera, get some audio from that and go from there. When I plugged the microphone directly into my computer, the sound was okay. But when I plugged it into my camera to make video not recording through OBS or anything like that, just recording straight to the camera, it would get a weird feedback and you're gonna go ahead and see this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try this microphone in a couple settings. We'll put the low cut filter on and then we'll go ahead and put the 10 dB, uh, the plus 10 dB switch on and we'll see from there uh, if that gives us any differences. I was gonna do a bunch of tests with the microphone. I ended up doing a couple of the tests uh, the further I got away from my Wi-Fi signal, it did seem to die off as far as that weird feedback signal goes. See if it's still there. Okay, so now I'm outside. I'm only about three feet from the camera, uh, but I'm significantly further away from my Wi-Fi signal. I read a lot of reviews online that, that seem to think that that's what's causing interference with the microphone itself. So we'll see how it sounds right now. Uh, it seemed to be the same issue that people were getting with the Rode. A video mic as well, which is why a lot of people recommend the Rode Video Mic Go, uh, because it doesn't use batteries. And it seems to be something associated with the microphones that use batteries, connecting them to your DSLR or mirrorless camera that you that you get this feedback issue. There are some remedies out there, people putting foil around it. I actually put a ground loop isolator on it as well. That did seem to help a little bit, but it didn't completely eliminate the noise. So anyways, after all that was done, I ended up returning it. I actually went with this Siren microphone that we'll go over in the next video. How's it going? This is the very first test on this Siren microphone. I do have a video playing right here behind me. It's not very loud, uh, but it is behind the microphone, so I'm curious if it is picking that up. Um, so yeah, I'm only a few feet away from my Wi-Fi router. Uh, so we'll see how it sounds, if we get any feedback like we did with that uh, Comica V30. Thank you so much for watching. My channel is up over 100,000 views now, and I couldn't be happier with that. I would love to keep it growing. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you'd like this video. And if there's anything you'd like to see videos on, go ahead and leave it in the comments and, uh, and I'll see what I could do. Let's keep it going. I'll see you on the next one.